Welcome to Emphasis on M, YouTube's most masochistic gaming show where we go through trick jump and puzzle maps from various games. Today we are playing Jump Academy 2 from Team Fortress 2. This is a collaboration of 15 different mappers, 3 years of work, and the end result has to be one of the largest piece of mapping that I've ever seen. There's so much content that even tool assisted runs take like a half an hour to finish. So let's just jump right at it and see how it goes. All right, had a little warm up there. So this is the starting hub, the main hub. And there's a total of 17 stages laid out like this. There's easy ones, medium ones and hard ones. We will progress from the easy ones and hopefully I can get through them all, but I think I might get stuck somewhere in the medium ones. We'll see. Um, this map was released somewhere nine months ago and the description of the release said that there's a somewhere around 170 jumps, which is hell of a lot of content. So we will definitely be here for a while. Um, I was introduced to this game mod somewhere around 2014 and I haven't been really playing since. So I don't know, it's gonna be interesting to see how far I can get here. I do have a basic understanding of the mechanics and my knowledge is based almost entirely on watching YouTube tutorials and like the basic thing basics like the air strafing and rocket jumping I'm already familiar with that from other games that I've played before that I've also played a lot like primarily Quake I haven't really played Source games that much Although maybe I should uh, I already had a short practice run on this map and I stopped playing somewhere midway of the easy pogo stage. And I did not stop because it's impossible for me. I stopped because I decided that I am prepared and it's time to start recording this video. So I'm probably gonna... I'm still not that used to the pogo stuff so I will probably get stuck there, mostly. I'm not sure how I can handle the synchronized rockets. I was never really good at that in Quake either. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see when we actually get there. All right, immediately you can see I have some trouble with this. This is one of those things that you don't learn in other games. All right, there we go. kind of getting the hang of it. Although these are still the easy ones, so...
All right, this is where I got stuck on my first practice run. I think every game that has a jump mod like this, there's always that one thing that's kind of ridiculous. And I think in this mod, it's the fact that you can climb, rocket climb walls almost indefinitely. Like this. And uh, to give another example from other games, I think in Quake 3, I think it's can, get, it gets kind of ridiculous when you get to speeds of like over 2000 I think at that point it's kind of ridiculous I don't know it's just my opinion what Let's go. Oh, come on. Why does it go so fucking high sometimes? close oh shit there we go I guess it's just gonna keep getting harder Come on. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. I still can't tell where the rockets go, like, physically. Makes timing a little hard. I don't like how the rockets aren't centered. Ah, shit. I got it. There we go. Wait, what? Uh, oh, does it start here? Like, is this... What? Do you need this for this? Is it just that? I guess so. I keep forgetting the breast crouch. There we go. Finally. I guess sink once there and then again there. There, I guess. Still quite far off. Oh, not quite hitting the mark there. Fuck, fuck, shit. Fuck yeah. Are you meant to use that thing? I 
I guess not. Or maybe it's like a shortcut. The difficulty isn't very beginner friendly anymore. I think I'm gonna have some hard time in the medium stages, especially on this sink rocket parts and the pogo parts. I think those are the only things you can't get away with without practice in this game. Like the feeling of the rockets is it's kinda different from what I'm used to like I feel like I have to aim the rockets a little bit more behind than what I'm used to when I'm like trying to sink rockets for a oh there we go I guess we'll do some surfing next All right. What? What's wrong with my mouse? Uh. Oh, you gotta avoid that. Close one. There we go. Oh, you gotta go around it. And you can't touch it. Cool. I see, I see. One tutorial I saw for Fortress Forever, they called this sharking. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need the sink there. There we go.
Okay. Huh? Oh. What? Still nowhere close. <sighs> there we go. Alright, so now we are gonna switch to medium stages.
Why is this side harder? Am I just bad at doing it this way? There we go. There we go. See, it's getting harder already. Oh. Just barely got through there. That one was a bit easier. Oh, so you gotta do that with four rockets only. There we go. Getting there. Whoa. There we go. Oh no, it's more pogos. All right. What? I just locked that one. Also locked that one.
This is what I meant with this being ridiculous. Like, come on, how is this not ridiculous? I don't like those kind of jumps. That was actually pretty fun. All right. I still don't know what the proper timing is for the... That was too late. That looked pretty even. There we go. So I think I should shoot the second one after I pass it. I think that's the proper timing. Gotta oh shit. Oh. 
Oh. I'm gonna be in trouble if there's gonna be several triple rocket sinks in a row. These ones are just two double rockets. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Fucking finally. Oh shit, I got it. Oh. Okay. Still no idea how to get through that thing. Okay. Not sure if that was super easy or if I just got incredibly lucky. Or maybe I'm just so good. No clue. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, that wasn't really that hard either. Am I supposed to go there? How the fuck? Hmm. I don't get it. The fuck? Fuck yeah. I'm glad that's done. So I was stuck there for like forever. Huh? 
Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Got it. Yeah, something like that. Kinda hard to tell from above if the sinking was good. Kinda have to look at them from the side like this. Okay, yeah, that looks bad. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Uh, jump off crouch. What does that mean? Do I need to watch a tutorial for this? Jump off crouch. What? Like that? Oh, something happened there. Okay, so I just spammed mouse wheel jump before hitting that, I don't know, and then pressed crouch. Jump of bounce hop. Excuse me. It's the same thing. Bounce hop, what? 
jump off, bounce hop. What the hell? Okay. Crouch, jump off, crouch, what? All these terms, they're like... They could just be fuck off. Fuck. That's what it feels like. Wait, what was it again? Crouch? Crouch, jump off, crouch. Crouch? Jesus. I think the perfect term for this is noob filter. Because it filters out all the noobs that don't really play this game. Only veterans know what to do here. I'm just gonna skip this. Fuck it. Ceiling smash crouch. Huh? Ceiling smash. Crouch. Do I need to crouch as I hit it? that gonna derp my hitbox or something? What's going on here? This terminology makes no sense to me. Might as well just say, go fuck yourself, dumbass idiot. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off, ungrouch. That's how I'm reading it. <laughs> oh. At least I can do this. I think. Okay. Jump off power. Power. P 
power bounce. Okay, what the hell? so many different jumps. I wouldn't be surprised if there really was one jump called the fuck off jump. Go fuck yourself jump. Hey, what are you doing in TF2, you noob jump? <laughs> Go back to Quake, you loser jump. <clears throat> Nothing about power bounces. Yeah, that's that's what I want to know too. Uh, a mixture of sync and b-hop jumps. That's not a basic bounce. You're just going. It's more of a variance. Going blah 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 blah. blah. Will someone explain me what is the difference? Can I chase that jump? Kroku and that's why well, why I, I need to Kroku again. And what the cook selling smash I see a lot of sellings but what I sub hit only one <laughs> Power Boner 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 Oh that almost fucked me. <laughs> You have to jump off the first b-hop, oh. Oh shit! What? What did he say? Oh! It fucked him? Fucked me. You have to jump off the first b-hop, oh. If I jump off the first b-hop... What? How do you jump off a b-hop? Like, if I... Like, do I lay it down? Like, here, here's your b-hop. Like it's a chair, like here, please jump off of it. Oh man, that B hop looks really tall. I wonder if I can survive the fall. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Next one. Jump off crouch. Okay, I can do this. I can't get the second one. I always fail that one. The first one feels very random too. Let's go. <sighs> yep. It's getting too technical for me. Wonder what this is called. Sink bounce. You know what, instead of giving these abstract terms for everything, there could be just like a giant 
billboard that s tells you like step by step like you can just put like french lines or something and like part by part what you need to do like do i spam the jump first do i press crouch first stuff like that that would be more helpful than fuck off bounce <laughs> hey why don't you go jump off your b hop <laughs> that thing keeps bugging me like how do you jump from a b hop like is it like is jump off like is that like a term itself like like shoot out that kind of term or is it like jump off from or jump jumps i don't fucking know I'm still not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. I'm doing that. Well, I did some investigation before I saw the explanation for speed shots and apparently you're supposed to touch the ground for a split second before you jump. So the way I interpret that is that I have to do the bunny hop thing. I'm not sure where to put the crouch in there, like do I press crouch first and then spam the jump. <laughs> My key setup is not optimal for this. That felt like a speed jump. <sighs> Fucking go there, please. That felt like I got there, but the tele teleporter trigger is like right at the edge or something. There we go. Okay, so it's just a BOGO. <laughs> something wrong with my mouse doesn't like it when I'm pressing mouse 1 and 2 at the same time or at close proximity TF2 is not the only game I have this issue in so it's definitely my mouse I have that in 
diabolical too. And what I thought it was. I know I keep coming back to it, but how do you jump off a bee hop? Bee hop means bunny hop, right? So, what does bunny hop mean? Like, how is it defined in this community? And when you be up, regardless of the definition, you're jumping, right? So once you be up, how do you jump off from that? Like, what the fuck? Somebody explained it to me. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm gonna go. I keep getting annoyed by my mouse. I don't know if it's because I'm recording at the same time, but there's like it seems to affect my FPS and that seems to affect how well my mouse buttons are re registered. But yeah, I give up. All right, that was Team Fortress 2. No, the game is Team Fortress 2 and the map is Jump Academy too. And what an awesome map, guys. Congratulations to everyone involved. I just noticed that you can see the name of the mapper on each segment and pants. <laughs> pants. <laughs> Oatmeal. Man, are these names for real? Like, there has to be at least one. Like, person missing from this project and one of the mappers was like I'll just make an alt account and hmm what should I be called pants I don't know if this is sort of meant to be a tutorial level it doesn't really feel like it if you ask me I think this one this one should be like a there's like three difficulties easy medium hard and I think this one should be just fuck you this is the fuck you room uh that's so i guess that's it for this time i hope you enjoyed today's grind and i hope you join me next time in some other game some other time bye <laughs>